Good morning all. Um, nice early start. So I've still been tinkering around with these guards. I just put a little bit of, there's a little bit of, there's a weld across there. And I, so I just tidied it up. I thought you might be able to see it from in the car. And this one here, I just gave it a good old fashioned sand and it's looking pretty, pretty neat too. Oh, there goes a bloody cockatoo. Do they're noisy buggers? Or, actually that was a, just a parrot. Um, yeah, so I, um, oops, this here um, gets painted black, and um, so that's that. And then I did the door and um, sand that back. A lot of work in sanding it back. They get a few little dints along here, so I thought I'd just put a skim over it and block it all back. Maybe you can watch that. But I haven't been filming it. It's it's too laborious and Jesus boring. So anyway, so that's about that. The uh, door, I'm about to give it some epoxy primer, just a bit of a, just on these spots here. And maybe, so here, I'm just bloody hard work sanding. My fingers are really sore. I've gone down too deep. So anyway, so you can watch that. I'll put a bit of primer on that. So I'm not far off ready to, Put some colour on that, got to do that door over there. We just talked about this yesterday. And um, so I'll get, get into it. Cheers. So this door is complete. I may... I might, well, no, it's it's fine. It looks good. And um, got rid of all those little tiny little dents out of there. They weren't much, but it's nice to have it perfect. So that's ready for um, one more gentle sand back and, a, um, and some 2K primer, which is really nice. The 2K primer really just goes nice and smooth and flat and sands really beautifully. Nice for colour. And, uh, so that's one door done. So that's the two guards done. I've got to put some um, 2K on there as well, which I will do all at the same time between the two. And um, so that's about it. So I get started on that door now. Number two. Ready for a sand. This one's actually, um, did I just feel something there? I did. It's got to be something fixed there. Anyway, so I'm going to put some undercoat in a minute. I've got, I'll spend another 10 minutes on it and then I'm going to undercoat it so it'll be all pretty and looking like that one there. Anyway, here it is. It's uh, been sanded and I'll put the first coat of primer on it and uh, it's a bit smelly in here. But uh, there was a little dent there which I showed you, which is fixed. There's another one over there which is fixed, which you didn't know about. There's some little mark here which there's something wrong somewhere which I fixed and um, so and it's all been sanded back so it's nice this door was a lot less work than the other door this XW door it's an XW door this one I don't have an XY door here it is I've uh, got the last coat of epoxy primer on it it's a nice shiny coat this one um, if you don't mix up too much reducer in it it goes nice and glassy and then if you get the gun set just right. So it takes a bit of fiddling. I wanted this to be a nice shiny coat so that it seals really well. And um, give it a scuff back. So I'm happy with it. So that's done. And that will just get, in a day or two, that'll get scuffed back and it'll get greyed like that over there. And then... Um, it can take some colour. Uh, yeah, I sanded it back again because I can't help myself. Oh, I seam sealed it here, just like that. You just wipe off the excess. That, I don't think it needed it, but I did it anyway. Anyway, so that's it. It's about to get another coat undercoat. 
So I'll do the same with this one. I'll give that a sand back. Bit of extra. I've seam sealed this, but I missed a bit. Look at that. Can you see that? You can always double check, haven't you? Anyway, so that's about it. Leon's brought me out a cup of tea without a biscuit. Nice shirt. Nice shirt, Leon. He's oh, a good lad. This about your shirt. He's my boy. What's that, Lee? I can say the same about your shirt. Yeah, oh, you want to see my suit? Hey, actually, just so you know, that is my shirt. <laughs> it looks like a it looks like a sack on him, but still, look at that. We've got a, there's a story about this. Um, a young a young boy drew this drawing, and um, Josh and I are going to do the full story on it, aren't we, Leon? Just say yes. Yes. Good morning, all. I'm about to give me, and yes, I know, nothing looks any different. But it's cleaned and checked over and, you know, seam sealed and all those little bits and pieces. So it's 100% ready for the final coat of undercoat. So I'll give it a, three more coats, probably. At least two, but probably three coats of grey primer. And... Uh, the last coat being the last coat before colour. So they're all ready to go. So, and this is all on the inside, so the inside. So I'm doing the inside first, probably because it's the best way to do it. But the other reason is I'm still learning how to use that paint and I might even use the new gun. It's sort of hard to, to grab a new gun and when you're so used to the old one. Anyway, so, um, I'm going to mix up some paint and put it on. I might put you on time lapse and you can watch that being done. Well, here it is. So I'll just have a quick. I put the last coat on pretty heavy. Should be pretty nice. Sorry about the mask, but I don't feel like breathing at all. So they're all done now. That's 100%. Just needs letting the cure off and then taking it down with some 800 or so and um, putting some colour on it. I'm pretty happy with that. And here too. I'm looking forward to putting some colour on. It'll be exciting. Might do that next week. Hopefully you'll see it on this video. This is what I've been up to. I've uh, Sadly, I thought I'd already finished the back of the tailgate, but I hadn't. I only had it in um, epoxy primer like this. And um, so I've been doing things, little jobs like this. So if they're ready for, I'm going to give them an undercoat. They're just little cover, shit, cover things. So did the other... I, I painted them the other day, mumble mumble, sorry. This all gets, this is all ready for, for colour, so I get sanded back, wet colour. Same with that door there. Uh, same with that side of that tailgate, but not this side yet. Uh, this I'm about to put some uh, grey primer on it. And um, whoever thought it was a good idea to make this grid like this, and uh, my God, yeah, I'm sick of sanding it. That, took forever. This is made by Bastards Incorporated. Well, I've just spent the last, well, all morning, I should say, de-dusting and cleaning the workshop to get ready for painting. And uh, I probably will wet this floor down. I've got the, around the fans, so it just keeps taking the dust out. I hit it with a leaf blower and I blow everything right away from the edges. And then I get the vacuum cleaner and I vacuum clean it all up. It's actually pretty, it's pretty clean down there. And um, so I need as clean as environment a thing. I think I might give the roof a bit of a, a blow over, make sure nothing can fall out of there or minimise is the word. In case you, you're wondering why I'm fiddling with 800 wet and dry on these insides where it doesn't really matter, because um, it turned out pretty good, it's because I've never sprayed a base with clear on top before and I want to practice on all these inside bits first. 
because if something goes wrong in there, it's not the end of the world. But uh, if it goes wrong somewhere more important, I'd be a bit upset. So that's about that. So you, I've got you on time lapse. You can watch me sand. So it's about as exciting as watching paint dry. So I sort of understand if you want to skip ahead. You know, it's worse than watching paint dry. It's watching paint being sanded off again. No, I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, at the risk of sounding pedantic, I've decided to mask inside the door, not because I'm worried about the overspray, but because I'm worried about any, if there's any dust in there, I don't want it to come up. So I'm sealing it underneath and then um, and I'll just, I'm masking around it so it'll be fine. So that's just to prevent any sort of, you know, we wouldn't want any nasty little surprises. So what I've done here is I've wet the floor down and I'll probably do a little bit more over over there in a minute. But just wanted to show you. So what you're doing is a new a new suit. So what I'm really trying to do is stack the, the dust stuff in my own favour. So settle everything. I haven't been I've well I've vacuumed twice. So I'm feeling it's probably gonna be okay. So anyway, so fingers crossed. Um, I'm gonna put some colour on. Sorry about well, the little mask, but it's actually pretty. Um, there's a fair bit of overspray in the air. It's all pretty good, actually. I'm I'm happy with the lack of dust so far. And um, you know, it's all one of one colour. And um, this is don't have clear over the top of it yet. No runs that I can see or have seen. I think the door tune covers there. I can't really remember now. I think I'm okay. And I've access to a spray booth after Christmas. I probably will have to do that. But meanwhile, I can do the you know the insides and stuff. I'll have to give this all one more coat. I've given it two and I've decided I want to give it three. So that's the last coat. You've got this is a little window before you put that third coat on where you can just fix up some little the little problems. So it's all going to be good. I'll just leave things be. I'll, I'll get out of here. You come back when it's um, gone off a bit more. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I've got to put clear on it now. Okay. So this is it. And it's, it's gone off. It's been, uh, they say a minimum of half an hour. But I've given it an hour. It just, um, it lasts half, in half an hour, I just saw some little shiny spots still. But it's, you know, it's looking pretty, pretty sweet, very matte. Now I'm about to mix up some clear and uh, give it some clear so yeah and it seems to be so far pretty dust free not well i can't see any dust but you know my eyes aren't don't belong to a 20 year old anymore so but it, on through the camera which is magnified sort of everything for me um it's looking pretty good Just out of the gun now, you can see the fair bit of paper spray in the room here, which is been drawn out. And I'll see if I can get it so you can see how it looks. I can't tell I get my glasses on. But I think it's okay. You know. I should just get Italy out of here. 
I guess they're very spraying for me because um, it's got to go off and the wind's picking up now. So perfect timing. That was an early start this one. But I shouldn't... Uh, it's a fairly glassy finish so I should be alright. And uh, I haven't shown you the guards. But I got need to do. I don't even see them, I don't know why I'm bothering them. There are a couple of little panels. And... But it's all glassy snow too. Alright, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go and watch some YouTube videos just for fun. Sorry about the mask. Hi, right, another quick peek at it. And um, I just thought I'd show you again. I'm pretty pleased with it actually. Even in a, in a paint booth you can't get 100% lint free. Um, environment and so this is actually pretty good so i mean i vacuumed my floor twice i damped the floor down which settles all the dust i tack use the tack rag um it's a good time of year not too many insects stills in it was early in the morning and it's a nice temperature not too hot not too cold so i had everything working for me in my favor and um and you know what it shows especially the the dirt there's almost no contamination in this at all and i'm pretty i've got to confess i'm pretty damn pleased about it i can't show you any better than that and um it's not a hundred percent but i i just don't think you're going to get that even at a spray booth but you ended up pretty damn good anyway so that's about it so i um I haven't sprayed here because it's going to be black. The black there, and there'll be a black. That'll sorry, that'll be black, and there'll be a black band around here. So I'm not sure how much gets black and how much doesn't. But it's the, I'm going to do the GT paint job, and uh, even if it's not a GT, because I like it. I reckon it looks it's great, and um, so. I just thought I'd do a quick conclusion to this video. I thought that, you know, that's probably not a bad place to end this video. I've I've got to go on to doing some other things and we'll talk about that next video, I guess. And um, so it'll just be, actually, I'll talk about it right now. Just be doing the tailgate and, you know, the plenum cover and whatever bits and pieces I can find, I feel like doing. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with it. It's turning out as as well as I would have expected and probably a little better actually. So uh, thanks for watching and please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon.